guys, back to winning ways. Yeah, it, it, it was a what could have been a potentially tight, tense evening, but I thought right from the first whistle, you know, the players were very positive with each other. Continued the positivity from the weekend, actually, which was a, a result that was, you know, we had to put behind very quickly because we created so many chances, didn't take them. So, you know, we probably should have been two up in this inside first five minutes with two excellent chances. So. Full credit to them for the way they came out of the blocks and, uh, and took the game to them and that got the fans you know, right behind us, full of positivity and, and in the end it was a, a decent result. Certainly a very entertaining, fast-flowing game from both sets of players. Yeah, we were just saying about them, they're one of the brightest going forward that we've played against. You know, they, they get wingers that come from out to in and um, cause your centre-arse problems because they run in spaces in behind and um, I thought for, for a man, we were exceptional all over the park. We, we won seconds. I thought the two centre midfielders were exceptional. Um, Calps deserved that after hitting the bar on Saturday. Um, going forward, I thought we were a threat. We caused them problems. And like you say, it, it was a, a good entertaining game with a lot of good football. We went one down after being on top and the lads could have thought, here we go again after Saturday. But... Uh, Thankfully, a great shot from Dave Symington, who had a good game, okay. and uh, we were back on terms pretty quickly. Yeah, that was the, the plus. What you need to do, obviously, is when you score, when you concede, sorry, is make sure that you can get some some impetus straight away and try and get that goal back. And we did that, and that, that lifted everybody. Then we we were ahead, um, and I thought maybe then that, for that little spell we would go and get the third one. Then obviously then we 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 get pulled back two two, and they're on on the on the Same. ascendancy slightly, and then. We, we, we get the winner, so full credit to them, as I say, they were very, very positive with each other. Yeah. Um, even before the game, you could feel it in there, in the change room, it was very good, Together the vibe was good, yeah. and, and then some great attacking football, and what also won us the game was some real stout defending at times, and putting your body on the line and, and sniffing things out. I thought the two centre-backs, who never really get much credit when you win a game, um, were, were, were excellent. Yeah, Danny Livesey and, and Steve Williams, I both can remember them making one extremely important block each where it looked a certain goal. I thought there was a couple to be honest for us. I thought, you know, like I said to a man, we were we needed nine or ten good performances to win that football match because they're a decent team. Um, you know, Steve Bear's no mug. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great result for us tonight. Just going back to Niall, I mean, uh, we've got to talk about that goal. I mean, it must have been 30 yards out. It's a great finish. Yeah, he, he's... Uh... Confidence. Done very well in centre midfield and shows what a bit of confidence done and a bit of belief in yourself and he, he's, without being disrespectful to him, been, been the, the, the kind of surprise or the find of the, of the season, you know, first few games at uh, right back and, and maybe a, a lack of confidence building them but then in that, in that safety zone in at the central midfielder with his athleticism and his ability on the football, I've always said that about him, he's got a lot of ability on the ball um, and, and he pops up with a Something we don't see very often, a 30 yard a top corner, so we'll, you know, we'll take them all night. Maybe Steve's thinking it's a bit harsh on them to, to get B3-2, but you know, you, you, you take your chances, you, you take your shots, you have a shot, and if it goes in, great, you take the plaudits. So we then held out and looked like maybe we might go and get a fourth. Yeah, so now we go down to Bromley, which uh, I think they've won seven of their last eight. Yeah, they're a good side, because they've got plenty of good forwards. Um, it's going to be a tough place to go. But we'll be ready, and on the back of that, and Saturday's performance, not the result, um, you know, we're, we're starting to hopefully, if we can, get a bit of consistency in our performances, and then hopefully the results will flow as well. Just about got the whole squad fit now, I think, have we? Yeah, the, the, you know, tonight's changes were, were about giving people an opportunity after working so hard, Fresh. you know, Mel's yeah. and, and Grimes and, and more for on the bench. They've worked so hard in training to get where we want them to be, fitness wise. Now you've got to repay them and, uh, and give them the opportunity you promised them. So, you know, Grimes, he was excellent in the first half. I thought he, you know, in possession of the ball, he was very bright. You know, didn't slow the game down for us. Two touch, popped it off and, and had a, a shot across goal. It's a, a foot either way, it's a, it's a goal. So, you know, contribution from everybody tonight was excellent. So, you know, going forward, this squad of players, we've always had the utmost belief in them. They, they just need to now become consistent and believe in each other. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you.